Why do we mourn Imam al Hussein alayhi salam? Why is it that every year we hold sessions of mourning where we shed tears over the martyrdom of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam? The answer is very simple, my dear brothers and sisters. We weep over Imam al Hussein alayhi salam because the Prophet did. We are following the example of Rasulullah. To mourn for Imam al Hussein alayhi salam is to follow the prophetic example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran in Surah Al-Ahzab, verse 21, He says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ Verily, in the Prophet is the, is the best example for us to follow, for those who seek Allah and the final day. Now the question here is, what is the evidence that the Prophet ﷺ actually wept over the tragedy of Imam al-Husayn? There is a narration found in Al-Mustadrak al sahihain which is a hadith collection authored by Al-Hakim al-Naysaburi, a prominent Sunni scholar of hadith. And this book is essentially a collection of narrations that are authentic based on the methodologies of Bukhari and Muslim. So these narrations are a supplement to Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and they are considered authentic by the standards used by Bukhari and Muslim. According to this narration, Umm al-Fadl, who is the, the wife of al-Abbas, the uncle of the Prophet, Umm al-Fadl she says that one day I came to the Prophet because I saw an awful dream. I saw a frightening dream. And I came to the Prophet and I said, Ya Rasulullah, I saw a terrible dream last night. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi asks, Umm al-Fadl, what did you see? She said, Ya Rasulullah, innahu shadeed. It is such an awful, a terrible dream that I saw. Rasulullah asked her, what did you see? She said to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, I saw a piece of your body, a piece of your flesh being cut from your body, and that lump of flesh from your body was placed in my lap. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi smiled, and he said to her that this is a good dream. This is a glad tiding. Indeed, my daughter Fatima will give birth to a child and this child will be placed in your lap, meaning that you will have a share in his upbringing. Umm al-Fadl then reports that one day I brought Imam al Hussein, who was an infant, and I placed him in the lap of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa She says when I put Hussein in the lap of Rasulullah while he was an infant, I glanced at the face of the Prophet and I noticed that the Prophet's eyes were filled with tears. Tears were flowing from his eyes. And this is a very unusual reaction to a grandfather holding his grandchild. Umm al-Fadl was puzzled. She says, Ya Rasulullah, May my mother and father be sacrificed for you. What is wrong? Why are you crying? Why are you weeping so profusely? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi says, Atani Jibra'il salawatullahi alayhi. Jibra'il, the angel Gabriel, came to me now with a message. And he said to me, Inna ummati Sataqtulu ibni hadha. Jibra'il said to me that, O Muhammad, your nation, your ummah will kill this child. Umm al Fadl says, Ya Rasulullah, this child, this child who's in your lap will be killed by your people, by your ummah, by those who claim to be your followers. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi says, Yes. And he says, Atani. بِتُرْبَةٍ مِنْ تُرْبَتِهِ حَمْرَاء The Prophet ﷺ says, yes, he will be killed by my ummah 
and Jibra'il brought some of the soil from the land in which he will be martyred and that soil is red. Al-Hakim al Naysaburi, who is an authority when it comes to assessing the authenticity of hadith, he says at the end of this hadith, هَذَا حَدِيثٌ صَحِيحٌ عَلَىٰ شَرْطِ الشَّيْخَيْنِ وَلَمْ يُخْرِجَىٰ He says this hadith is authentic based on the standards and the methodology of Bukhari and Muslim, but they did not include it in their hadith collections. My dear brothers and sisters, Imam al Hussein salam is not simply the biological grandson of the Prophet. Imam al Hussein salam was so beloved to Rasulullah because he was a reflection of that prophetic light. On a number of occasions, the Prophet would say, Husaynun minni wa ana min Hussein. Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. Ahabbaallahu man ahabba Husayna. May God love, may Allah love whoever loves Hussein. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, according to this narration, Rasulullah wept over the tragedy of Imam al Hussein salam 57 years before Ashura. And therefore, when we commemorate and when we shed tears over the tragedy of Imam al Hussein, we are simply following the example of the Prophet. We are preserving this prophetic tradition. And therefore, brothers and sisters, Imam al Hussein salam, to weep over him is to follow in the footsteps of the Prophet. And those who fought Imam al Hussein salam, indeed they were fighting the Prophet. Because Imam al Hussein is a reflection of the Prophet. And this is why on the day of Ashura, Imam al Hussein salam, when he stood in front of the army of Umar ibn Sa'ad, he wore the turban of Rasulullah. He was wearing the cloak of the Prophet. And he was carrying the sword of Rasulullah. Why did he do this? Because Imam al Hussein wanted to give a visual reminder to the people that those who fight Hussein ibn Ali are indeed fighting Rasulullah. 